Hey, I'm Christian Harlow. And I'm Tiffany Smith, and our guest for today is I Just Tea. And this is Movie Three Show. Nailed it. You I didn't say it. What is our show I called? Movie Three Show. Yay! Got we got it. I'm so confused. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> Guys, I can't do it. <laughs> So thank you so much, Justine, for hanging out with us and completing our, what's the show called? Movie Threesome! Yes! Yay! You got it this time. I love the shows, I'm so excited, thank you. We're thank super you. pumped to have you, and I know you're crazy busy. You just had a book come out called yeah. I, Justine in June. Yeah. You were just in The Wedding Ringer with Kevin Hart. What yeah. are you not doing? Um, I don't know, I also just got a puppy, so my life has just completely changed. You're a DJ too, right? He is a DJ, <laughs> DJ Mini Matt. You know, it always fascinates me with celebrities and what genre of movie they like. Do you have a particular genre that you respond to more than others? I mean, probably comedy movies. I feel like if you don't like a funny movie, there's definitely something wrong with you. So what's the last one that you watched that you embarrassed yourself laughing? I think I watched part of The Notebook, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> wait, is The Notebook a comedy? Because I was it's, unaware of that. It's, it's like the I'm... one Nicholas Sparks movie that isn't a comedy. <laughs> Justine, we are very good at embarrassing ourselves every week and on this show. Mostly Christian. Mostly me. Basically what we do is we put our butts on the line every week with our weekly rager. Last week it was all about straight out of Compton. Straight out of movie threesome. And I believe you wagered 32 million, you wagered 26, but the actual estimated value was 60.2 million, which means... I winner! It's time for you to have the loser should. Chris Day says, hashtag loser should throw water balloons at the loser face. Chris, classic. I get it that I'm the loser face of this episode, but I mean, we can't get the set wet, so. Oh, contraire, loser face. Well, Tiffany, you um, can't complain anymore. We are now outside okay, wait, in please, three, please. No, two. Wait, I don't want to get wet. Loser Let's face. Go. Like 10 balloons. Loser face, you did a great job. And now we have to go back to the studio. Well, movie three some Sorry. magic. We both are in agreement that Straight Out Compton will probably be number sure. one again. Because of that, we're gonna bet on what we think Sinister 2 will do. I'm gonna say Sinister 2 makes 16.5 million this week. Because of the box office oh, split, I'm right, going me. with 14 million. That's a good bet. Justine, how about you? Oh, I'm not betting anything. Our <laughs> first smart person on this show. Make sure that you send in those hashtag loser shoulds in the comments below on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook. I think I'm gonna submit one. <laughs> uh, throw them in. Oh, oh, what is happening? Oh my goodness. Bring it, you skunks. I, oh, Chitty today's topics. topics. Yeah. All right, so Justine, you are a massive tech junkie along with loving films. What is some of the new technology that's really helped you? I feel like there's a new computer that comes out pretty much every, well actually, I feel like every day there's something new. It's really amazing too that the, the price on these things have come down too, so it's it's accessible to everybody. Yeah. You guys have a camera, 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 there's mm -hmm. lights. Oh, there's a little more than yeah. a camera. Camera, yeah, exact action. Didn't mention our CGI dog. <gasps> it's a mutant. Look at him. I am oh, definitely wait, 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 not wait, wait. Guys, can okay. we make him a little bit bigger? <laughs> oh. See? Look, that is CGI. Enter. That is CGI at its best. Justine, it's our, just our crappy CGI dog <laughs> withstanding here. There has been a lot of movie effects over the years that maybe they haven't aged so well, but at the time, they were groundbreaking. Let's start with Air Force One back in 1997. Mm -hmm. Huge hit. This is okay. still holding up all right. Okay. Not my, oh. Uh, all right, all right, little. See, it's no. amazing though, but back when this movie came out, oh, that's terrible. Well, and also <laughs> like, you look at stuff oh, like, oh. there you go. It's so amazing how quickly technology changes. Now yeah. there's like children that are doing yeah. better effects that's in 1997. Years, yeah. Another one that had some pretty awesome visual effects for the time was The Mummy Returns in 2001. Without effects like this, you don't yeah. get Gollum. You don't get the uh, Andy Circus later it's on true. as you don't Caesar. Get, you, yeah, you don't get you Planet don't. of the Apes. And that looks not great, but this was the beginning of it. This was the beginning, this was the start of it, that they could do stuff like this, and this is where they started to learn. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> like, I haven't seen this movie in so long, and just looking at his face, I'm like, oh. I love this one. This one, to me, is one of my favorites of all time. Jurassic it, Park, 1993. One of the best visual masterpieces. 
ever. I definitely think it's really great. The dinosaurs look awesome. I think the Lord of the Rings films and what Weta Workshop did, when you see the two towers and you get to see Gollum and you get to see what Andy Serkis could do with that character, that changed the game for sure. Which one out of the two you guys do you think knows the most about special effects? Oh, me. me. Ooh, I like it. I like the competitiveness. That to me sounds a lot like Game, game time! time! What is the game today? It is Movie Tech Toe. It's gonna be all about special effects. I'm gonna ask a couple questions, and first person to get it right, you're gonna stick one of your creepy faces on to the Tic Tac Toe <laughs> board. If you get it wrong, your opponent gets to put their creepy face on the board. Yeah, I am Hello. ready to play Tic Tac Toe with my face. What does ILM stand for? Industrial Light and Magic. I thought you Boom. were doing multiple choice. Oh, well, oh. wait a minute. It is multiple choice. She got it. Yeah, she I got won. It. What percentage of James Cameron's avatar was photorealistic? A, 60%, B, 100%, C, 10%. 10. Incorrect. 100. Incorrect. 50. What do we do Incorrect. then? Incorrect. What's the first one? 60. 50. You get the point. Justine, go Clearly ahead. Clearly someone's playing favorite. You said 50. The first wireframe computer graphics were featured in what movie? A, Tron, B, Alien, C, Star Wars. Tron. Tron. No. Star but, Wars. Correct. But, yes. Wait, blah, I'm blocking you. To accomplish the extensive 3D animated scenes in the first Tron movie, how much memory did the computer back then have? A, one gigabyte, B, 500 megabytes, C, two megabytes. 500 C. megabytes. Correct. Dang it. All right, it was two megabytes, okay? Which completely CG Lord of the Rings character was hailed state of the art? Gollum. Thank you. I, she didn't, I didn't say A, B, or C. The first motion capture feature film was A, the Bowler Compress, B, the Molar Empress. The Bowler Express! C. I said it! Tiffany said it. Yeah, but I said C. I, I'm just very disappointed with people. But I said C first. I said Polar <laughs> Express. Yeah. What? 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 Oh. No. Too late. No, too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. <laughs> it looks like no one's going to win this game. Um. <laughs> if I get the next two correctly, I can win. You're not going to get the next two right. You're right. But you could be wrong. How many minutes of CG dinosaurs are there in Jurassic Park? <gasps> A. Four, B, 15, C, none. Those are all real dinosaurs. Four! Four. Tiffany got it. Yay! Oh, no! So no one wins. The audience doesn't win. No one wins. Yay! Thank you so much to our guest, the juggling Justine. <laughs> Make sure you check her out on social media at iJustine and pick up her book, iJustine, at iJustinebook.com. And let us know in the comments below, you guys, any other guests that you want to have Come on, Movie Threesome with us. Why don't you guys also make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you also download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphone. And join us next week on Movie, movie Threesome! Baby. Justine, Justine, Justine. Look, look, look at him. <laughs>